So we have that Go tool installed. We opened a brand new folder for our first project here in Visual Studio Code and we installed the Go extension. Now in here we can create a new file and I'll name this file firstapp.go. The name is up to you though, but that's the name I will go with here. And the .go is important, that is the extension we should use uh, so that the Go extension also knows that this will contain Go code and so that we can run this code successfully later. Now that's our first Go file. Now once you create that file, normally the Go extension should open up a little helper window and it asks you whether you want to install the Go PLS uh, command. And I want to do that and I will actually even choose install all here because the Go extension actually uses a lot of tools under the hood and uh, now it will install all these tools for you so that the Go extension is able to work correctly. You will only be prompted for that when you first start working on Go code. So if you open such a Go file and you haven't installed those tools yet. So here I did now choose install all and I'll wait until all these extra tools were installed successfully. Again, these are tools that will be used under the hood by this Go extension. Once it's done, you should see this little success message here and you can then close this extra terminal that opened up here. You can then also learn more about the Go extension here with help of that window that opened up, but I'll not do that here, but just close it instead. Now, if you did not get that install pop-up, which I got a couple of seconds ago, you can always go to view command palette or use the shortcut for that, which is command shift P on Mac OS or control shift P on Windows. And here choose go install update tools. Simply type go install and you should get this option here. And if you hit enter, you can select all tools here and click OK. And then this will re-execute this installation, which I just executed thanks to this overlay. So that's another way of installing all those tools. It now did complete super quick for me here since I did install them a few seconds ago. Now it's a good idea to run this command from time to time since some of these tools sometimes update and to ensure that you always got the latest version of them and that everything works correctly, installing these tools again from time to time is not a bad idea. Now with that finally out of the way, let's write our first little bit of Go code to see how that looks like. And I'll dive deeper in the exact syntax and why we are writing which piece of code over the next minutes and hours. Here in this first app.go file, we can start by typing package and we actually should start by typing package and then main. Now I'll dive into packages and why this has to be named main later. For the moment, let's just type it. And then type func main, opening and closing parentheses, and then opening and closing curly braces. This creates a function, which is a language feature you might know from other programming languages as well. And this main function will be a special function which is executed automatically by Go whenever you run that file. But again, we'll dive deeper into functions and all of that later. For the moment in this function, we can just type FMT or just FM actually to get this auto completion here and hit tab. And what this does now is it adds this import here import FMT. With that we are importing a built-in package built into Go itself and the FMT package is a package that helps us with formatting and also outputting content. And in the main function we can now add a dot after this package name and execute print LN with a capital P and then just print hello world between double quotes like this. And these have to be double quotes. Single quotes are not allowed here. 
Again, we'll dive into the exact syntax and when we have to use which uh, value or keyword over the next minutes and hours. For the moment, just make sure you type exactly what I have here and make sure you have no typo anywhere. And with that, we have our first little bit of Go code. And if we now save that, we can open the terminal, the default system terminal installed on our operating system, just integrated here into Visual Studio Code under Terminal, New Terminal. And this will now be the default system terminal just automatically navigated into this project folder. And here we can now run the go command, which should be available since we installed go on our system. You can just run go like this to test whether it works. And um, that's looking good. I'm not getting an error. And you can type go version to see which version of go is installed. Of course, you probably have a different version than I have here, but what I teach you will apply to your version as well. But now here we want to execute the go run command and actually run this first app.go file by typing go run first app.go. And if you now hit enter, you should see hello world here in the terminal. And that's our first bit of go code being executed. Of course, it's fairly basic, not too impressive, and we don't fully understand yet what's going on here. But we're going to get there throughout the course. For the moment, we just made sure that everything is installed and set up correctly, and we're now ready to proceed.